Will Jaguars GM Trent Baalke actually be retained for the long haul? So on December 16th, 2021, the Jaguars finally decided to fire Urban Meyer after a whole bunch of just highly questionable stuff occurred with him as a Jaguars head coach. And the next thing that we all thought was inevitable was that the Jaguars would also fire Trent Baalke after the season concluded. But interestingly enough, a couple weeks ago, actually not a couple weeks ago, like a week or so ago, uh, Ian Rappaport was basically speaking to the NFL.com or NFL Network going over the Jaguars one to interview Doug Peterson, Byron Lutwich, this, this, and that. And then halfway through the video, he drops the fact that the Jaguars will be retaining Trent Baalke, and he's going to help lead the coaching search. And we were all like, what? We couldn't believe it. And it, and it, was, it came weirdly because it wasn't like he dropped a tweet that said Jaguars will retain Trent Baalke. It was just kind of in the middle of a video. Um, but obviously that made its way around everywhere and nobody agreed with it. None of the fans agreed with it. None of the local media agreed with it. National media agreed with it. No fan base or like no one out there agreed with it. There were certain people within the organization that kind of get leaks out um, that said that, look, they have no idea why they are keeping this guy because Urban Meyer was a big problem, but this guy might have been just as much of a problem. You know, I mean, Trent Baalke, we've gone over him. You know, not a great GM, has terrible communication skills. People don't like him. People don't respect him. And Shad Khan decides that this is a guy that he wants to keep. You know what I mean? And it led to a complete revolt. I mean, go on Twitter right now. It's being clowned out. I mean, literally everybody, including myself, has changed their profile picture to a clown with a mustache. And if you go on Jaguar's Twitter... I can't speak for you know the Jaguars official Facebook account or the Jaguars official Instagram account, but if you go to the official Twitter account, it's like 99% clown emojis. And you know on their live periscopes, you usually allow to comment live over there. It's getting so it's getting so much spam of basically people putting clown emojis in that they had to disable commenting, and it's absolutely ridiculous. And now. Um, there's a guy on Twitter. His name is E underscore Dilla. Uh, he's a very reliable source within the Jag, like for the Jaguar stuff. He's not affiliated with any network. He's just kind of a fan, but he has people on the inside that he gets stuff out. He makes tweets, and they turn out to be right. Uh, so he's, you know, if you're active on Twitter, you kind of know that this is a legit person. And he put out a, a tweet a few days ago, basically saying that Shad realizes that Balky will not work. Um, as the GM. So there's a great chance that Trent Baalke is on his way out. And I really, really hope that's the case. And, you know, I hope that, and I think that Shad realizes that just from the public outbreak, I mean, we all saw him get fired, Urban Meyer get fired right after, you know, the Josh Lambeau story hit the local media. And then now, you know, there's basically stories hitting the local media about the clown out that's going on right now. And Shad Khan, I don't think, wants to be perceived as a loser. Oddly enough, you know, when you're a billionaire, you're going to you're gonna have an ego. You know what I mean? You're, you're, you're not going to lack a backbone. And, and it's crazy to me that this guy is a billionaire based on how he runs his football team. But he really just doesn't know a lot about football. And I don't think he has the right guys that he can lean on for football opinions. You know, right now, the highest ranking guy in the building that has to do with football is Trent Baalke. And I think that he's leaning far too much on him without realizing that, look, this guy is the problem. You know what I mean? This this guy is a problem. And I don't know if some people have kind of talked to Shad Khan in his ears saying this is not the right thing to do, but it looks like he might have a change of heart. But if Trent Baalke will not remain the GM, then why is he here? Get him out of here now. You know what I mean? There's no reason for him to be in here, especially when the Jaguars just a couple days ago, I believe on Thursday, they interviewed Doug Peterson for the job. And you're going to tell me that Trent Baalke conducting these interviews, that he's not going to hang around? So with Shad Khan sitting in on them and having Trent Baalke leave, then to, I don't know. It, it, it makes no sense to me, but obviously this is very Shad Khan. What he does 
with anything doesn't make any sense. And what this guy needs to do, we need to go back to 2017 where you did hire an executive football or ex executive vice president of football operations. You know what I mean? We need that because obviously Tom Coughlin was not the right guy to do that. Tom Coughlin has way too much coach in him to be able to be in that kind of role. And he's way too much of a presence everywhere you go for him to be in that role. And he just doesn't fit the current style of how a football team needs to be run. But you need another guy in that position. You know what I mean? Whether it be, you know, I've heard up names like Jim Caldwell or Marvin Jones, or not Marvin Jones, uh, the Marvin Lewis from Cincinnati. That would be a good guy to do it. Just somebody that understands football and has good relationships with people and can just do things right. You know what I mean? Because uh, essentially what that job is, it's pretty much the ownership spot. I mean, they do a lot of stuff that owners should be doing, but Shad Khan doesn't know how to build a team, does not know what to do. You know what I mean? You give him the benefit of the doubt the first three, four years, but you know we're officially... You know, I have a decade of of ownership with him, and we have one fluke year where we made the playoffs. Other than that, all double digit lot losing seasons, and right now we're trending in the wrong way. You know, I mean, we used to, you know, during the beginning of his tenure, we would struggle with only having four, five, or six win seasons. Now we're coming off of a one win season, and this season is probably going to end with with two wins. We are trending in a wrong direction. So Shad Khan, one thing that you realize with other teams that have good owners is that they know what they want out of their football team. They know what kind of football team they want that team to be. I don't think Shad Khan knows. If you were to truly ask Shad Khan, hey, what kind of football team do you want? He's just going to say, oh, I want to win. I want to score touchdowns. You know what I mean? I don't think he's going to sit here and say, I want a hard-nosed team. I want the trenches to be good, which is going to open up the back end of things. He doesn't know that. So the Jowers need to get in here. They, they need to hire a guy that can do that. A guy that establishes what the culture needs to be and hire guys to fit that, have good communication from top down. I mean, the Jaguars right now, the, the communication is terrible, and it's just a lot of bad right now. And it needs to be fixed. You know what I mean? I, hopefully, Sean kind of realizes that. It's, just, it, it's, it's not good... From, my, from our perspective as a fan, when it's like, dude, how are you going to keep Trent Baalke around when everybody knows it's not the right thing to do? It's not just the fans that don't want this. The national media, the, the, the NFL blue check marks are like, what? You know, there's been words from scouts that people hate him. You know what I mean? It's, this is not the right thing to do. And I gave Shaw the benefit of the doubt. I didn't think that he would keep him around, but... I don't know. Maybe now we're going to bully, bully it out of him. You know what I mean? Where, you know, he realizes, okay, yeah, this is not the right thing to do. But, th but the thing you had to do, you had to hire an executive vice president of football operations. You know what I mean? Because, you know, that, that would, Shot Khan doing this thing by himself and going out there and hiring a GM and head coach by himself is not going to work. Got, you have to bring in an NFL guy who, unlike Tom Coughlin, is good at building relationships and that people truly respect and understand the, the modern NFL, modern, modern style of NFL football. You know what I mean? I think Tom Coughlin middled around too much. I don't, I don't even need an executive vice president that gets too involved in GM stuff and, you know, player, you know, observations and scouting. You know, we just need a guy that's been all around and that just knows the NFL and knows how a culture needs to be. So, you know, that's it. You know, two games left. So, and I do want to say that I'm not going to be live streaming the game tomorrow. Um, the next two games, do I want to live stream the Patriots game? No, I, I don't want to. So, um, I'm probably going to do a live stream tomorrow night, uh, Sunday night, at some point, just talking about the game and just talking about whatever because I think that'd be a better use of my time. Um, so, if you guys do want more coverage from me, download Relevant, join Jaguars Fanatics for a live show at 11 a.m. Eastern time and also a live halftime report. Me and Tom McManus join up and do that. So go over there and download the app and, you know, go do that um, if that interests you. And, you know, with all that said, do the right thing, Shad, and get Trent Balky out of here. Go Jags, and I'm out.